Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Aziz Talk. Before I start the video, I would like to thank everyone, every person who took the time to watch my first video, you know. It meant a lot to me and uh, because it took me 15 years, 15 years just to, for me to start talking about my, uh, my, my disease, my experience, so thank you so much. Today, I'm going to be talking about the lupus and pregnancy. You know, um, most women uh, with uh, lupus can safely become pregnant and have healthy babies. But before planning any pregnancy, you have to make sure that your lupus is under control. Because, you know, uh, pregnancy plays addition uh, stress into your kidney. And having a kidney uh, disease can cause problems during the pregnancy, can even lead to a pregnancy loss. So it is very, uh, uh, very important for your lupus to be under control for at least six months before um, trying to get pregnant. And also you have to make sure that um, you talk to your doctor because your medication have to be reviewed. Some medication are not safe during the pregnancy. Some as well have to be um, stopped three to six months before, you know, trying to get pregnant. So you see, it is very important just to have that communication with your doctor. And also the doctor just refer you to a specialist because uh, having lupus and the pregnancy, you are more likely to have, uh, you know, uh, you will be more likely to have certain uh, uh, problems. So they will put you in, um, in a, a special um, special treatment, there they will just uh, where they look after uh, people who have this condition. So it is very, very important, very important to discuss with your doctor. And uh, yes, yeah, some women experience flare during their pregnancy, and some don't. In my case, I didn't have any problems. My pregnancy was very, you know, okay. I had my baby very you know normal so you see i didn't have any flares any complication any tiredness any stiffness i didn't have anything of that this is all i was so happy during my pregnancy you know no just to be normal again you know so you see it is possible to have a successful uh, pregnancy even if you have lupus some women develop high blood pressure during the pregnancy and the high blood pressure increases uh, your risk of having a preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a, a very dangerous condition during the pregnancy, but it's not everyone who has preeclampsia, you know. Pre usually people who, are, who, who have um, active um, kidney problem, who have um, high blood pressure, and for those who smoke. So, you see, it's not everyone. Thank God I didn't have any of those, um, you know, symptoms. You see, I didn't have even nothing, nothing. I was normal, normal. So it is possible, it is possible. Mis uh, miscarriage. Some women have miscarriage, do have miscarriage, you know. But again, is those who have uh, active lupus, active kidney problem, or high blood pressure. It's not everyone. I didn't have any miscarriage, thank God, you know. But... Uh, it can happen to you too, so don't stress out. If you are planning to get pregnant, make sure that your lupus is under control and plan it with your doctor. Plan it with your doctor. That's just my advice, you see. And uh, you have to make sure as well, you know, uh, even while you are pregnant or even before, you know, getting pregnant to have a, a full full blood test um, yeah full blood test then the, the your doctor will screen for antibodies you see so antibodies usually that cause the miscarriage but if if even they found any antibodies in your, in your body your doctor will prescribe you uh, a blood thinner uh, medication which 
it will help to prevent uh, the formation of blood clot into your vein. And 80% of women who took uh, the blood uh, thinner medication have a success, uh, successful pregnancy. So again, don't worry if they found any antibodies in your, in your body. And also, you know, um, some women uh, do um, do deliver before reaching 37 weeks. So it is common with um, in women with lupus. For myself, I I had my baby three weeks before my due date. You see, the water broke at night. I called them. They asked me to to go to 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 the hospital. I spent the night there and nothing was happening. I waited in the morning. They told me that they would they will induce me. They did, and the baby came. I think seven hours after everything. So you see, even that I had my baby. You know, just uh, no more, no more. You see, so it is possible. It is possible as long as your lupus is under control. Some baby uh, born with lupus, but that condition, um, it will just stay for six to eight months and it will, it will go So and it will never return. So don't worry if your, your baby has that. Your doctor will be in a good position and a good place to advise you what to do. And also, after having the baby, you have to make sure that you go regularly to see your doctor. Because you're having a baby, your body will change, everything will change into your body. And they have, your doctor have to review your medication. So it is very important to go to have a full checkup so often. So yes, you see, so it is possible to get pregnant even if you have lupus. Lupus doesn't um, affect your fertility, no. So you just make sure that your lupus is under control and plan it with your doctor. So you see, everything is possible if you believe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, you know, for watching again. Thank you for everything. Please subscribe to the channel. Share the video, you know. I'm doing this because I want to raise awareness. To make people aware of the difficulty living with lupus. The difficulties of living with a chronic autoimmune disease. So please do share the video. And if you've got any comment, just... Uh, just leave me a message and also like the video. Thank you so much and um, I hope to see you soon. Bye.